Good day and welcome to Keystone HDC's five-part training series, How to Improve Your Independent Hotel or Bed and Breakfast Success. Video number four. My name is Jerry McPherson. Today, I am going to talk about marketing. Now, this is a topic that people spend their lives trying to understand and implement properly. In today's training, we are just going to scratch the surface, but hopefully give you some tidbits you can take away and begin using immediately to increase your visibility and patronage. For those of you who have been in the hospitality property industry for a while, you are probably familiar with the traditional marketing tactics used to get your brand recognized in the marketplace. This would have included things like attending trade shows, buying advertising in newspaper and travel publications, brochures, and knocking on people's doors. These were very time consuming and often took a while for you to see an ROI return on investment. Today, there are many more chances to get your brand in front of the right audience, now, and benefit from a much higher ROI from your marketing activities while improving your brand's awareness and recognition. If you're new to the hospitality property industry, the following are steps you should take to begin developing your business brand. These are also great exercises if you're looking to renew your old brand or just check and see how your current brand stands up. Know your competition. How does your competition differentiate themselves from other properties? In other words, why do customers stay there? You have to learn to recognize their strengths and weaknesses. Knowing this will help your property distinguish itself from your competition. When you have identified your competition's weaknesses, you'll be able to focus on your own property strengths. When you've determined your property strengths, you can use them to your advantage when marketing. You can do this by performing a target market analysis. Ask your clients. It's important to confirm your target strengths and it's crucial to your target market. Know your customer. Learn more about your guests. Know their booking behavior. How frequently do they book? Do sales, special offers, or promotions influence their booking practices? Do they buy or request additional services? To know who you are, you have to understand your target customer. And once you understand your target customer, you have to be your brand. Make certain your company truly represents what your brand identifies you with. For example, if one of the traits of your property's brand is that everybody is friendly, make sure that all your staff are friendly. And this means every employee, from the receptionist, housekeeper, accountant, all the way up to you, has to live your brand. Once you recognize your strengths, you will have to ensure that these are the strengths your customers want. Now think about ways to successfully market these to the world and involve them in your branding campaign. A couple of other things to consider when looking at your branding is your company's name, your logo and color scheme, your domain name. It should be the company name, but if that is not possible, get as close to your brand as you can. A professional looking website is imperative. It should be easy to navigate, and by this I mean easy to find the booking information, include sound, a video would be good, informative material, lots of clear, high resolution images of your property. Make sure your images are what your property actually looks like. If you try to fake it, you'll have unhappy customers. A smiling photo of yourself and your written signature. This adds an individual touch and lets your customers know you are a real person. It's also not a bad idea to consider a page with all your employees' images, an opt-in box to collect emails for your mailing list, and include a free giveaway for their email address. For example, a short ebook about your region or a local recipe, a value coupon for one of your services, or authoritative information directed to your target customer. Provide a potential customer something of value up front and they'll label you a legitimate source and much higher on any consideration list. Having a blog is an excellent way to keep in front of your old and new customers. Posting short blog posts or articles about attractions in your area 
historical tidbits, or any offers you may have, has proven to be a way to improve your return business. Become an expert in your region and post articles in your blog to show this. If your property is in a wine region, learn about wines. If you're located near a historical site, learn the history of the site. If your area is famous for blueberries, learn all you can about blueberries. You can also demonstrate your expertise through internet forums and other blogs. Not only will you be viewed as an authority, customers and potential new customers will feel connected to you as a real human being and more comfortable to ask questions. The more places your property's name pops up, the more individuals will be exposed to your website and product. If you do have a blog, which I highly recommend, it should be updated on a regular basis. Set a schedule to send out newsletters to those on your mailing list. These newsletters could include links to your blog articles, coming special events, or offers and package deals. Make sure to keep them personalized and let your personality shine, like friends talking to friends. Have a comment and review option. Now, it's important to take the time to respond to comments, and by this I mean all comments, the good and the bad. This is important for any travel sites you may be listed on, such as TripAdvisor or Booking.com. When responding to a bad review, don't make excuses, but instead convey your understanding of the problem and how it will be rectified. A thoughtful, honest response will sometimes motivate a reviewer to update their comment to a more positive light. Don't ever answer a negative comment when you're angry. Collaborate with other businesses and look for cross-promotion opportunities. You can offer a package that includes an entrance to a local zoo, and you can ask for a discount on the ticket prices. Or recommend a restaurant is a good place to eat, and the restaurant, in return, can recommend your property to customers looking for a place to stay. If you put yourself out there, you will command respect through that exposure. Spotlighting your accomplishments and successes while branding yourself as an authority is all about getting other individuals to realize something about you that you already recognize. As I mentioned in the beginning of this training, we are only scratching the surface. There is so much more to consider when marketing. In the last training video of this series, I'm going to talk about social media, some platforms that are available, and their strengths and weaknesses. In the last video, video number three, I said I was going to make a special announcement. Well, here at Keystone HTC, it has been our experience that many independent hotel or bed and breakfast owners have taken on the responsibility of operating a hospitality property with experience levels ranging from, I can manage a five-star property to, wow, what am I doing here? When producing this five-part training series, our hope was that it could be found beneficial by those of you who have taken advantage. But we also knew we could only scratch the surface. So with this in mind, we are pleased to announce the complete guide to operating an independent hotel or bed and breakfast training course. The complete guide to operating an independent hotel or bed and breakfast training course will include in-depth step-by-step video tutorials and checklists on setting up an organizational strategy, management strategy, outsourcing, employee hiring and firing, training, communications, techniques, customer service, handling complaints, upselling, marketing, branding, email strategies, social media, property improvements, trends, plus much, much more. The course is designed for owners of independent hotels or bed and breakfasts who wish to improve their business practices and patronage while enjoying a fun and fulfilled life as a hotelier. For more information, click the link below or copy the URL and paste it into your favorite web browser address bar. If you would like to stay in touch, join us on Facebook at Keystone HDC and on Twitter at Keystone Squad. If you have any comments, we would love to see them. Until next time, have fun, enjoy life, and let success follow.